Hello Keto fam, Keto Kelly just getting it done, coming back. Today is October 19th, I believe. Um, it is 12.30. I'm going to throw together something real quick. Uh, kind of like a chicken tortilla soup, I guess. I saw it on Facebook. I, I think it was Low Carb Yum did it. I got my crock pot right here. Go Patriots. Um... First of all, I want to say right off uh, the bat here, uh, I did do my uh, my niece's wedding. It went off without a hitch. Everybody seemed to like the food. Um, I did not get a chance to take pictures or film it. I was busy. <laughs> Sorry. But everything came out really nice. It was very hectic. I got a little bit of a fever blister going here because of the stress. So, And on the trip back, I lost a very close uncle of mine to cancer. Cancer, you're a bitch. You are. You're a bitch. You've taken so much of my life and my family. And I am... You're not going to get me, you old hag. So, let's begin. I have five chicken breasts right here that I pulled out. First, let me... I have two and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm going to go ahead and put in my crock. And this is just broth that I've that I do with my uh, bouillon. And yes, it does say two teaspoons. Somebody corrected me on the other one, even though I put in the comments, it's teaspoons, not tablespoons. So, right here I have, let me drain some of the water off this, five chicken breasts that I'm just going to lay right in there. And I'm not going to put much salt in this because the chicken broth, the chicken base, is quite salty on its own. So I'm not going to put much, if any, pink salt in there. Not much. I'm going to put some pepper in there. Sprinkle of garlic. I have started um, classes. I'm back into class now. It's all online. In here I have a uh, taco seasoning that I have put together. I pulled up uh, one of the recipes on Pinterest for um, taco seasoning. You want to stay as far away from the, the store bought as possible. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. That's about two teaspoons. Rinse my fingers. Right here, I bought some uh, fresh cilantro salsa from, I think it was Sam's. And for this, for two tablespoons, it's one gram of carbs. I'm going to put two cups. I don't know. Figure the macros out. It's, it's one gram per two tablespoons. I think there's four tablespoons in a quarter of a cup, so... What's that? Four times four, sixteen. So that's so two of these will be thirty-two grams, I guess. Don't quote me on this. Math is not my thing. <laughs> Even still, I've got well over probably this. I will probably get close to to uh, six to eight servings. So again, do the math. Right here, I have six ounces of Monterey cheese moderate jack i believe it was no moderate just moderate cheese moderate jack. anyway moderate jack or moderate cheese one of them first of all let me stir or move that around we're going to put this right in we're going to let it melt right with it i'm going to let this go for about three hours on high 
Then we're going to pull the chicken out. We're going to shred it. We're going to add it back in. And that'll give us our soup. So, and you can adjust the seasonings as you go along to see where they're at. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for my break fast. Guys, I, I totally did not eat straight keto while I was away. I did, however, 80% of the time I was eating keto. It's really hard to eat keto when you're on traveling uh, or around things. Like my entire meal, with the exception of the green beans, yeah, with the exception of the green beans, had carbs in it. So I did eat a little bit of the pot roast that I made with the, the gravy had uh, regular flour in it. I ate a few slices of that and about a cup and a half of green beans. And that's what I ate the entire day. I did take a bite of uh, a roll because at that point when everybody was eating, it was around 530. I hadn't eaten anything all day. So I just grabbed because I could feel my blood sugar going down. So I grabbed a piece of roll and ate that. And then I sat down later on and, and had some green beans and some roast beef. On the way down or on the way up there, we did stop. I did get a croissant bacon, egg and cheese for breakfast. And I think on the way back, I had gotten the McDonald's Big Bre Breakfast with just the uh, scrambled eggs, bacon, and an added sausage. My husband had a hash brown. I took a couple of bites out of his hash brown. But other than that, there were probably a few little things. I had tacos a couple of times while I was out there, but y'all already know that tacos is my cheat. Um... But for the most part, I stayed uh, pretty much keto. I was up four pounds, four pounds. And that may have something to do with sitting in a vehicle for two days as well. Some swelling. I am back down. I was up to 193. When I left, I was 189. I was up to 193. This morning, I was at 191. So now I'm back to doing, I'm back in my routine. I'm back in my regular schedule now. I am doing my intermittent fasting. It is now almost 1 o'clock. I'll probably throw together a salad real quick and eat this for dinner. It will it will be after 4 o'clock by the time I get ready to eat this. But I'll come back and show you uh, the final product of this. And again, guys, next week, OH, I'm so excited. I'm nervous. Blah. So uh, I'll catch back in with you guys and I'll show you what this is. I'll see you in a second. Bye. Hey guys, I am back. It is now 3.15. I took the chicken breasts out and I let them cool for about 15-20 minutes and I have shredded them. So let's go ahead and put that back in there. Stir that around. I added a little bit more cheese uh, cubes to it, right about probably 3 ounces. So total about 9 ounces of uh, the Monterey Jack and it is Monterey Jack. So, this is looking pretty good. Let me see if I can tip it up so you guys can see it. So it looks pretty good. Let me get a bowl. Whew. I tasted the broth. It tastes quite nice, actually. Um, I didn't add any butter, which I'm surprised I didn't. but Because chicken breast doesn't have any fat on it. So, I'm going to add... Approximately two tablespoons of butter. Let that get incorporated and melted in. Then I'm going to get a bowl of it. And yeah, it's before four, so I did pretty good by getting my last meal in. And there it is, guys. It's very good. Very good. So I'm going to turn this down on low. And when the hubs and daughter get home, they can have some. They can put tortillas in theirs if they want. I, however, cannot. I am back on strict keto. And as you can tell, I'm... I'm still recovering from this trip. This is a long trip to Maine, guys. 
So, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to look through the Atkins book this week. I am going to OH next Wednesday, so I might do something this weekend, I'm not sure, but I'm going to look through the Atkins book and uh, find something to do. So guys, I will see some of you at OH, and until then, Keto One, love you, bye.